guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a college student who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different from what I normally do. I love posting vlogs of my life here in Hawaii and surfing and lots of healthy recipes. But today we're focusing on the college students. So I'm gonna show you three super easy and healthy breakfasts that are perfect for when you're in the dorm room, when you don't have a kitchen and all you have access to is a little mini fridge and a microwave. And best of all, they're epic. They taste amazing and they're gonna make you feel amazing, which is the most important part. We've got two sweet recipes because I love starting my day with something sweet, but we also have a savory recipe. Don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single Sunday and let me know if you guys like this new format and if you wanna see more college dorm recipes or maybe different themed dinner nights inspired by different countries. So yeah, let me know in the comments and let's get into these three epic breakfasts. Our first breakfast is gonna be a delicious cinnamon roll in a mug, but because it's September, I'm already feeling all the fall vibes. And Starbucks already came out with a pumpkin spice latte, so I think I'm okay to put pumpkin in this recipe. We're gonna start by taking any pancake mix. I used one with an almond flour base and adding some maple syrup, almond butter, and flavorless oil like coconut. These are all pantry staples that I hoarded in college because they last for months without needing refrigeration. We're looking for a non-sticky dough and as you can see, this dough is a little too crumbly, so I added a tiny dash of almond milk until it reached the right consistency. You can also just add water for this step. That sounds like an H2O reference, clear. So let me know in the comments if you ever watch that show. Now you're gonna take a plate or any flat surface and dust it with more pancake mix. Roll out your dough for a little bit and flatten it into a square. We don't want the dough to be too thin because then it will break. We're really just looking for a surface area that will create two miniature cinnamon rolls in a mug. Now we're gonna make our delicious pumpkin spice filling. I'm extra so I added pureed pumpkin, but if you don't have room for this in your mini fridge, just substitute it for melted butter or coconut oil. By the way, I included all the substitutions for ingredients in the description box. Add some coconut sugar or granulated sugar to the mix in addition to lots of pumpkin spice for that cozy autumn flavor. I ended up doubling my mixture because I wanted these cinnamon rolls to be loaded. Spoon that out onto your dough and cover the surface entirely. If I had to describe the cinnamon roll, it's basically a hug in a mug with an extra dose of coziness because of the pumpkin and the spice. It makes me think of the word higa, which is a Norwegian term which means to comfort or to create coziness. It makes me just want to move to Norway or Sweden and live in a cabin in the forest in the snow. Meals like this make me feel all warm inside and it's a great addition to any morning routine. But anyway, now it's time to roll and slice your dough into two mini cinnamon rolls, throw it into a greased mug, and microwave it in one minute increments until it's fully cooked. I ended up microwaving each cinnamon roll for about two minutes. Since you have two cinnamon rolls, you can eat one while the other's in the microwave, so they'll both be super fresh and warm when you eat them. This step is optional, but recommended because we're taking some yogurt, maple syrup, almond milk, and pumpkin spice to create a delicious creamy drizzle. Mix that up to get rid of all the lumps and adjust the amount of almond milk until you reach your desired drizzly consistency. Now, all that's left to do is to artfully drizzle it onto each cinnamon roll. Since I'm obviously filming a video, I only added a little bit of icing to make it look nice, but I recommend just dunking your cinnamon roll into this icing because it's more delicious that way and that's what I did off camera. And there you have it, a fall inspired single serving pumpkin spice cinnamon roll that's fluffy, cozy, and the perfect morning pick me up now that fall is approaching and mornings are getting colder and gloomy. Embrace this change of seasons and appreciate all the amazing things that come with fall. Our second recipe is going to be savory and I used to eat this every single day in my dorm room back when I used to go to UC Berkeley and I still lived on campus. This breakfast is protein packed, it's super customized and it's also great for lunch or dinner. I cannot count the amount of times that I made this meal that first year in my dorm room because it's so quick and it brings to mind my favorite cozy cafes that serve you massive plates of loaded veggie frittatas. If you feel like it, you can add a boost of protein by mixing in some yogurt for creaminess and some turkey or ham slices. Then add whatever frozen vegetables you have and here I added frozen spinach and frozen broccoli. Just make sure the veggies aren't too big because then they won't cook fully. You can just mix this directly into the Tupperware that you're gonna microwave it in but again, since I am attempting to make an aesthetic video, I mix it in a separate container first. Microwave it in one minute increments for three to six minutes until you notice a dome shape on the eggs, which means that they're fully cooked. Here's where you can start personalizing it. You can add some cheese and blast it in the microwave until it melts. You can add some salsa or pesto, or you can add some avocado slices like I did for an extra dose of healthy fats. In the dorms, I seriously missed freshly toasted bread. So sometimes I would microwave a slice of bread with a glass of water in the microwave to keep it moist and it was okay, but it's definitely not ideal. So if you wanna have some 
carbohydrates with breakfast, you can add some frozen sweet potato into the egg mixture. Our last recipe is gonna be another one of my staples, and it's a loaded stuffed breakfast sweet potato. It is so good, and I promise it doesn't taste weird. This recipe is also super customizable, and it's also perfect for fall because you have the sweet potatoes, all the cinnamon spices, so good. Chef's kiss. We're gonna start this recipe by microwaving a sweet potato, but first you're gonna cut the ends off and stab it a few times so the potato doesn't explode in the microwave. Sweet potatoes are another dorm room essential because they last for months unrefrigerated, and microwave sweet potatoes can also be used for lunch or dinner, so let me know if you wanna see more recipe videos like this one. Cover your sweet potato in a wet paper towel, and this will help steam it and keep the skin tasting good and not overly dry and crusty. This is the part that takes the longest, so you can microwave your sweet potato while getting ready for your classes. Sweet potato Potatoes can take anywhere from 5 to 12 minutes to cook depending on the size, so I'd recommend microwaving it in 2 minute increments until you can easily poke it through with a fork. Once it's nice and soft, you're going to cut into it, and this sweet potato will make your entire dorm room smell so good. Now you're going to customize it with your favorite toppings. For protein, I love to add Greek yogurt, but you can also use coconut yogurt to keep this vegan. Next I added my favorite super clustery brownie granola, and that recipe is in my ebook which you can get at jazztyler.com. Now it's time for the essential peanut butter drizzle and I always recommend storing nut butter in your dorm because you can also add it to energy bites, oatmeal, and sandwiches. You can even use it to make a savory peanut sauce. At this point you can also add toppings like bananas, frozen berries, some coconut flakes or cacao nibs, but I kept it simple with a drizzle of maple syrup and a dusting of cinnamon. I guarantee if you show a photo of this loaded sweet potato to your college friends they're gonna freak out and ask you to make them one. It's also a great way to make friends in college. Make some yummy snacks or a delicious dessert, leave your dorm room door open, and just spread the joy. And that's it for these three quick and healthy dorm room breakfasts. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Like I said in the beginning, please let me know if you want more videos like this because I do want to start uploading twice a week while I'm living here in Hawaii. Of course, you're still going to get all the vlogs and the what I eat the weeks, but I kind of want to do like a cooking style segment more often. I already have some ideas of doing like themed dinner nights. I would love to show you guys healthy Mexican food, maybe some vegan Italian food, a pizza night. I don't know. Just let me know in the comments what you want to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys this Sunday. Love you.